Thanks Squarespace for sponsoring this video. This is Japanese pepper. I've never tried it but many people told me that this is fantastic on steaks. At the same time, I have one more that is quite popular. This one is called Ichimi Tagoramashi. I'm probably not pronouncing this correctly. This one I've seen before but never tasted it and I was told that these peppers are way better than what we use here in the US which as you know is freshly ground black pepper. This is always my go-to but if you tell me there's something that can improve any steak, you better believe I'm gonna put that to the test. And in order to do so, we're gonna be needing some steaks. And for today's cook, I chose these three beautiful ribeyes. Unlike my normal steaks, these are much thinner. Usually I like to go for one and a half inches thick. However, you can also cook thin steaks to the just gotta make sure you adjust your technique a little bit and I'm gonna show you how. So in order to run this experiment, the first thing we need to do is to get them seasoned. For that, I added a good amount of salt first. Once that was done, the control steak will get a good amount of freshly ground black pepper. The one in the middle, we're gonna call it the red pepper and the Japanese one, we're gonna call it the green pepper. Now, I honestly have no idea how this is gonna pair up with steaks. My hopes is that it's gonna turn out fantastic. The next thing to do was to go ahead, add them to the bag, vacuum seal them and they are now ready for sous vide. Now, this cook is gonna be slightly different than most. That's because these steaks are extremely thin. So instead of cooking them for two hours, I'll be cooking only for one. However, you know we like to eat and those steaks are not gonna be enough. So I decided to make an incredible side dish for us today. Now, here's the thing with this side dish. It was all done from leftovers. That's the beauty of cooking sous vide. And these is what I like to call Bidia Spring Rolls. Oh yes, they are absolutely delicious. And the best part, it's super simple to make and here's how. The first thing to do is to get some rice paper. Wet them under hot water. Once that's done, we're gonna be using Bidia meat. And I've shown you how to make Bidia sous vide many times. There will be a link on the description down below of several different videos. And most importantly, if you've never had Bidia before, you have no idea what you're missing because there's so many different things you can do with it. And it is fantastic. Just always make sure you make enough. Because once I added the Bidia, I went ahead and added a good amount of cheese. To be specific, mozzarella cheese. Then the next thing to do is to go ahead, close it up as tight as possible and just roll everything into itself. And in the end, we have a nice spring roll. Now, one of the things that you might be thinking is go ahead and deep fry this. That is not a good idea. Trust me, I tried. What happens is, is that everything is just gonna split open on you. The key here is to pan fry them nice and slow. Keep it under medium heat. Sear each edge little by little because in the end, all you gotta do is serve it with that BDS sauce. Again, there will be a link on the description down below so you can see other recipes for Bidia. Because I'll tell you one thing, adding the consomme together with this is just heavenly. But now that we have our side dish ready, our steaks are fully cooked. The next thing to do is to go ahead and remove them from the bag, set them on a cooling rack. One of the most important things you gotta do whenever you're cooking sous vide is to ensure that you pat them dry really good. As now we need to get a crust. But I know exactly what you're thinking. I know my steaks don't look that good right now, but watch this. Alright everybody, here we got our beautiful steak with a very unique side dish today, gentlemen. So I got a little experiment, alright? Mm -hmm. All about the peppers today. Enough talking, let's give it a go. Please, dig in guys, we're gonna go, go. this direction. Okay. Yes, let's go. Cheers everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Mm. Good old fashioned right there. <laughs> That just hits right, everybody. Wow. It just never gets old. Like, mm. I get eat steak for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, afternoon snack, midnight snack. I drink I drink steak. You know what the thing is? That, about don't, that don't sound good, though. Nah, it doesn't. This is like when you go to a bar and you ask for your favorite drink and they make it perfect. That's what this Guga steak is like. Normally, I tell you guys not to use a thin steak, everybody, but if you do, please sear it quickly. The flamethrower is the perfect one to sear this kind of steak because it's so thin. If you're gonna do it on a cast iron pan or anything else that takes a while to sear, go thicker because thicker is better. <laughs> yeah, boy. Damn it. You gotta have some girth, you know? Oh, God. Wow. Very good, that's our baseline. Let's go for the second one, gentlemen. Please, dig in. Is this also a girthy steak? All right. All right, that's enough. Oh, so I cross the line. <laughs> well, let's find out right now if it's good, bad, or ugly. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, it's like citrusy. I agree with Angel. A little as acidity on there that actually pairs oh. really well with the steak. Yo, this is amazing, isn't it? It's like it's, really it's, good. it's citrusy and and, and flowery, mm-hmm. like uh, aromatic. Aromatic. Yes, thank you, Leo. That's why you're here. It has the aftertaste of Fruit Loops. Oh, you're crazy. No, I disagree. No, I disagree 100%. I taste it, I'm not crazy. It tastes like Fruit Loops. This is like when you go to a bar and you ask for your favorite drink and they make it perfect. It has nothing to do with Fruit (laughs) Loops. I agree that it doesn't taste like Fruit Loops, but I have my own crazy thing to say. Oh boy, here we go. I think this steak tastes kind of like potpourri smells. Poopery? No, man, not pooper. Poopery. And when you go to the bathroom and you spit? No, that's poopery. That's. Oh, a, what is poopery? It's just like a. Fa- you know what? Cut it. <laughs> just cut it. Just cut it. Never mind. Is it just me or my tongue is like tingling? If you ever had Sichuan peppercorn, this is what it reminds me of. It is citrusy, but not too powerful. It just has those nice elements that help it out. Guys, it's good. I recommend it. You guys? Yeah. I like it. I like the fruit loops. I like steak. it. Okay, now I can't wait to try the next one because I don't know what to expect. No, let's let's go get for the it. side dish. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm. Oh, come on. That's very nice. You know what it is? Mm. It's like beer and cheese. I think I like this more than a, the normal birria style. It's so fun to eat. It's yeah. easy. It has great texture. That outside is nice and crunchy. That consomme coats it with a nice creamy oil. The flavors inside are beautiful. This is like a birria hot pocket. That's what this tastes like. I was thinking hot pocket this whole time. It's like the perfect bite. Cheese, meat, birria. Just don't deep fry everybody. You saw what happens. <laughs> That's cool. delicious. I want to go for the last one, guys. Let's go. Dig in. Please dig in. Uh, my mouth's still tongling. Tongling or tingling? Tingling. tingling? tingling. It is still tingling, everybody. That sounds tingling. like your rap name, Google. Little tingle. Little, little, ting- <laughs> little tingle, tingle, baby. Little dry age. <laughs> I like that one. I'm the little dry age, full of butter and a little bit of wagyu, everybody. <laughs> That's great. Enough talking. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. A little bit of a spice. Not as much. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, that took a second to hit. Yeah, that is spicy, boy. That attacks the back of your throat immediately. Right in the back? All the way through the back? Settle down. Okay, Google. (laughs) First it's the girth, and now it's the back of the... Yo, Lil Dry Age is doing too much right now. Oh, no. Not Lil Dry Age again. (laughs) Very, very powerful. But it's also very flavorful and enjoyable. I like it. I I like the steak. If you're asking me which one I prefer, I definitely go with the Fruit Loop steak. We got Lil Dry Age and Lil Fruit Loop over here, guys. No, no, no. Nah, I don't like that rap name. Give me a different one. What do you think, Leo? Which one is your favorite? <clears throat> I think if I had to choose one, I'd go with that last steak. All right, so First these time. are just Japanese peppers, by the way. So you like the red one and you like the green one. That's the basically the differences between them. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's right. I, I forgot. like the green one. Yeah, you like the green one. There you have it, everybody. I don't hate greens. I actually like them. Yeah, that was a good one. And this video was brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace has all the tools you need to create an amazing website, like Fluid Engine, which is a next generation website design system. So it's super easy to unlock unbreakable creativity. They also have awesome blogging tools, categorize, share, and schedule your posts to make your content work for you. And of course, whether you sell physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash sous vide everything to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.